not so fun part of this job. Um, this has been out in the rain for about a month or so, so it's going to be fun. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to take that in this uh, freezer and uh, a couple boxes that are in there. Alright guys, the junk is gone. Well, most of it anyway. That wouldn't fit in the truck. I'm not going that big thing right there. The wicker chair. Uh, I got all the boxes out of here for the auction house. And next is this uh, box I didn't finish in the last video. So, kind of waiting for my mom to come out here, hold the camera, and then get started. Alright, so this is that box I didn't finish the other day. I left it on my truck and it started raining, so it's wet also. This thing's broke, I can feel it. Yeah, but it's broken. <laughs> Fairy site. The fairysite.com. Okay. Pairs change everything. University of Auburn. It's kind of cool. If you like Auburn. Willow tree. These are all willow tree stickers. I might say uh, that. There might be willow tree down there. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Looks like a handmade little uh, crucifix from Jerusalem. That's kind of neat. The rain came out of nowhere. I forgot the box was there. Another crucifix. So another cross. Religious stuff does really well on eBay, but that stuff looks modern, so I doubt it is. This is just a picture frame. Wait, there's a dowel in that paper. Yeah. That Goes to matter. something. Trash. But there's not. So, so it has a heart shaped stem. Alright, this looks like a, a willow tree. Mm. No, it says uh, from Lloyd B. Lloyd. I don't know if there's any collectability in that or not. At least the stuff isn't wet, it's just the bubble wrap. It's definitely auction material, not eBay. It's cool. Is that an hourglass? Those look like willow tree. I hope so. It's very worth some money. Yep, it's willow tree. I've sold this exact one before. For like 25 bucks. Right. Do the little ones first. That one got wet, but it's just uh, wood. So. Yeah, it's cool. So, I, while we were on pause there, uh, I looked up the one in the rocking chair and it's going for between 30 and 50 bucks. So, that's not bad, but I'm probably going to give that one to my wife for Christmas or something. And she don't really watch my videos because she's not gonna know. It's not Willow Tree, but I I didn't see it. Though. It just says it's from uh, Corinthians. Oh, love never fails. Wait, That's a big tree. one. I think I sold that one before too. Close to me. Oh, wow. That's a sad one. I like that one. Hero. Yeah. <laughs> What's that one? Mother Mother's. and son. Oh gosh, that's a. <laughs> I might have to keep that that's one a for keeper. about five years <laughs> when Sean gets that age. Oh my gosh, he uh, looks good, big enough to be that age. Almost. No, he's about here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Child of my heart. Oh, yeah. Goodness, Matt. <laughs> oh, I've got that one. I think it I've got broken. the one with wings on the, it. The arm. This one's been broke. Oh, yeah. It's not worth anything. Oh, that looks like brothers. brothers. Yeah. We wouldn't know Doesn't about say. that. <laughs> no. Oh, it's cute, though. I think that was it for this box. This blanket's not wet. Okay. Alright, let's go through this thing. I think it's just all ribbon though. 
There's some stamps, and these actually can be valuable if there's enough of them. Uh, I have a big old blue tote in the sh uh, locker, not in the locker, in the shipping container, full of ribbon with a penny. Oh, that's a wheat set mm -hmm. too. Cool. Um, I have a, a tote full of these from my locker last year. It's another stamp. I know, I'll get them later. And I was going to lot these up and sell them, but I'm just going to take the whole tote to the auction house with these also. Another stamp. So I'll have to dig through this better off camera, and if I find anything cool like jewelry or anything, I'll show it. Alright, time to tackle all this Halloween junk. Um, with these half pumpkins. What do you even do with that? Mm. Just throw this on the ground. This skeleton might be worth the money. Right. I'll have to look that up. Yeah. I don't know. Just try me, so. Dracula, styrofoam tombstones. Oh, wow. That's, kind of, that's neat. Uh huh. Which. This is just one of those blow up things. It's all tangled mess. Ooh, guys. Oh, witch. Cute. There's like melted candy canes in here. Right, it's just all modern uh, junk. That, this is brought back all the trash. Alright, this box is too heavy to pick up on anything, so I need to get a chair. And uh, it says books and magazines in mom's room, so I'm not sure how long we'll be in this box. But if I didn't grab a chair, we'd be in it for a long time. And my back can't handle that. Like a box in a box. Yeah. yeah they all kids' books. Oh, wow. So personal pictures there. All right, actually, are they? Oh, that's Carolina Panthers. This is autographed by somebody from the team, but I can't read it. Number all... twenty-eight. 58. Or 58. But that's somebody else, too. I don't know who that is. Number 24, which is that guy right there. I'll figure it out later. First row. Josh Norman, I guess. So these Explore and Learn books, actually, if it's the whole set, might be worth selling on eBay. Because I have some sets of books I haven't listed yet that are worth selling. I just haven't done it. But I'm not digging through all this. Alright, so this is a University of Auburn bag something. It can, it'll go with the toy box when I empty it out. Let's see what's in it. So we got UFC, uh, boxing gloves, some perfume. Kind of pretty bottle. Victoria's Secret, Fearless. Mm. Alright, this says Mom's Closet. Well, it's crossed out, but then it says something. Skirt, and suits, and Dad's and short shirts. shirts. Well, Dad's gun. That's what I want. room box surprise it's just bookshelf stuff so it's not heavy so it ain't books might be some more willow tree yeah, that'd be good Ooh. So 
some more video games. We got Kinetic Sports, Dead Rising 2, Adventures, Empty. That one's in there. That one's in there. stuff. No pads. Want a want one? Mm -mm. Got some more DVDs. Pirates of the Caribbean picture. Too bad it's not autographed. Mm. That's what I was hoping for. Keep losing the picture. Sorry. There you got it. Yeah. That's cool. This one isn't marked, but it's kind of heavy, but it's not heavy enough for to be books. And I heard it might be, I don't know, what kind of guess. No telling. Gold. That's what I'm shooting for. Guns. Gold or guns or jewels. <laughs> yeah. Just personal photos in here. Whoa. Out of the way. Oh. Want me to turn it off? No, okay. just that one. Looks like a lot of desk junk. Nothing spectacular up here. There's jewelry on the bottom that's under there. You never know. I gotta go through it. It says this is the last big box in here. There's a tote. Some bags I need to go through, but uh, probably be it for this video. Unless I don't have enough time, then we'll add some more. But books, games, school paper sheets, animal blankets. This one was heavy. I'm gonna kind of have it just resting on the little box underneath. It's definitely sheets. Overseas. That aside. And then those are Auburn something, placemats or something. I don't know. Hey guys, today is Sunday. Um, like a week later, or maybe a little longer, I've been on vacation up in the mountains and the lake with the family. So I'm back here at my other house getting ready to go through uh, stuff. Actually, I've already gone through that I've already list shown on the previous video. Um, so this that's a, just a box of trash. Those are all burnt CDs. We've got another box of trash here. Um, this Auburn Bassett would have been cool, but it was stained pretty nasty with makeup. And then we got some boxes for the local auction. Um... Nothing really exciting, just a bunch of books, and books, books, and two bags of trash there. And then, this was all the uh, desk stuff I went through. Um, that's basically all brand new things, mostly. Stuff I can't sell on eBay, but I'm sure somebody will buy it at the auction house. And then I found a coin book, and it actually had some coins in it. Let me show you. Alright, let's see if we can... Uh... That's going to zoom in. So we got a 1930, 33, 32, forgot the year, can't read it. An uh, Indian head uh, nickel. And a 1903, or yeah, 1905 Indian head penny. And then just some other pennies that were just in the bottom of this bin. So this, this was all um, ribbons and like stamps. And those are all going to auction. And then I found this dollar. Woohoo! Found a dollar. And any idea what these are? I thought maybe they were some kind of wheel for a, like, rollerblades or something. But they're different sizes, so I'm guessing it's for some type of uh, ribbon machine. I don't know. 
and some you know, some stickies because I need some stickies. But yeah. All right, next under this uh, toy chest, and it's kind of rough. I probably won't get a lot for it, but it's still should fetch some money. But we're in South Carolina, so you have to get some Auburn fans in the auction. So they might not go for a lot. But anyway, um, I already went through most you know most of this in the first video when I was emptying the locker out. So I'm gonna film after I get down to the bottom, see what other kind of shoes are down there. All right, y'all. Um, I've gone through down through the boxes um so these are the shoes we've already seen in the previous video um these shoes if i can get them cleaned up are worth between 40 and 50 but it's an odd size so it's going to be a long tail item they're size six uh they're cortez i think 72 cortez um the washing machine should clean those up though i don't know about these um my auction house doesn't take shoes. Uh, this brand does sell, but I couldn't find them. So I might try. If I can get $25 for them, that, that'll be good. So this is a Hulk Reebok for Kids shoes. Uh, I haven't found the second one in there, but I think they're in there still. This is a brand Western Chief. I've seen them uh, duck boots selling. I think if I can clean these up, $25. I suck. Anyway, they're wood, so they're good. Uh, this is a brand called Chinese Laundry. Never heard of it. And I've seen this brand selling. And these are actually pretty nice. So I think I can get $25 for them at least. So, and the other one is in there. Um, <clears throat> these shoes are ratty so far. There's some Michael Kord flip flops. I haven't done them. I'm going to price them because they're really beat up. And top cider, these are actually good shoes to find at like estate sales and yard sales. Um, but these are just too far gone. I'm not even gonna mess with some couple of horseshoes. And you remember that thing from the first video? It's uh I can't find anything like it on eBay. It's it's from some collection. But I don't remember the name right now. And just shoes. And luckily I like shoes. So that's garbage. These are Oshkosh uh, snow boots for kids. I don't know what these are, but they're pretty be beat up. Oh, these are the ones that have the wheels on the heels. I forgot what they're called. But these are pretty shot. So I'm not even going to mess with those. Uh, don't even, those are shot. Don't even care what brand they are. Yeah. Oh, these are Tim's for kids. That's cool. Those should be worth some money. The other one's in good shape, like this one. If it's in here. And then, what are these? Kid Crocs? Well, there's the other set right there. Okay, these are Crocs. Yep. So I'll, I'll might look those up, too. Um, just because these are pretty nasty. So there's the other one of these. I have to price that. That's just another shot shoe for the other one to go with it. There's the other. There's the other Reebok. Oh, we got some Batman Converse. Those are cool. Those might be worth some money. <clears throat> Alright. So these, I might be able to sell those too. These are what more top siders, but they're pretty beat up and wore out. And this is the other shoe for the Chinese laundry shoe. So that's cool. And then we got SpongeBob slipper, Patrick, and SpongeBob. Alright, so I'm basically done in my trailer. I still need to go through the dresser. And I've already kind of gone through it at the locker, um, but I need to fine tooth comb and everything. And then these two totes were random stuff just lying around the open, which was probably caught in a video. And I think most of it's garbage anyway. So I need to go through that. And 
these drum kits i have i don't have a wii or an xbox so i'm not even gonna bother testing them i'm just gonna send them to the auction house and get what i can get for them i don't feel like taking them apart either so um but yeah there's that box of random stuff uh then i'll go with the box i have of halloween stuff going to auction house and that will go to auction house and then these are all the shoes i'm keeping the resale and let's see I, i'm hoping this is a jurassic park dinosaur it says j-a-r-c on the bottom or rv so i have to look it up i haven't looked it up yet and then these willow trees i'm definitely selling on ebay um i think i should be able to get 20 or 25 dollars for this battery charger uh, couldn't find one but other oem chargers i saw selling for decent money and then just this magic card ain't worth nothing but i'm hoping it's a sign that there's more because one magic card could pay for this whole unit uh, pay for my whole year and then goosebumps and wimpy kid are actually books worth saving because they sell pretty well together and then this explore and learn set is worth selling on ebay and it'll go media mail plus there's a couple xbox games below here so not bad uh, i think i might be close to halfway point on making money off this locker i haven't been keeping track but based with the auction house and then selling sold a fuji camera for 150 but anyways enough of being in the trailer let's get into my shipping container and look through some boxes there uh, i have one already out and ready all right the lights aren't on um actually i'm gonna need my knife all right so i don't remember this box i might have peeked but like i said i don't know what's in here so let's get it open And it's a little dark, the light's not on, um, but it looks like it's good enough to see. Oh, wow. So much excitement. It's a bunch of hangers. Alright, I don't know how much I'm going through today, so I like to just look through a box that I have no idea what's in there. Um, those tumps don't look very fun, but... Let's walk back here. It might be getting too dark though. Even with the flash on. I think this is Christmas stuff. Uh, I think what's in there is actually... Yeah, that's actually what's in the box. Here's a nice sealed box I haven't been through. Or know what's in there. So if the box is open, I'm obviously going to kind of peek in there when I'm packing it up. So let's grab this one. Alright, so it's not heavy enough to be closed. It's pretty solid. It's not heavy enough to be paperwork. It might be plush because it's not making a sound when I move it. So let's see. Did I tell you I need to get a tripod? not excite me one bit although some of this can be valuable uh, beanie babies no thanks oh beanie babies all right that's a box for the auction house stuff we've already gone through from different lockers let's see no tips today. i should, probably should move that lid before i die on it Here's another box that's sealed. Let's grab that one. Oh. <laughs> so, I have tree branches uh, up against the back of the shipping container. So that's what that noise is. Wind blowing. Let me get this box here on top. Alright, so I seriously think this is another box of plush. Oh, wow. 
Paw Patrol. That might be some. Alright, he's in good shape. I will put him aside. There's Donkey from uh, Shrek. He's a talking one, looks like. I'll put him aside too. Check him. Oh, that's actually poo. That's an ugly poo. Jeez. Alright, I have to look him up too. Alright, so Donkey I think, uh, has a stain on it. Dang it. Uh, that should be easy to clean up, but if I can get this cleaned up it's, and it works, it's 30 bucks. Free shipping. So, that's a keeper. And uh, this is a talking one too. It has a little box in it. And I can't find it. So I think his name's Chase. But he sh might be a keeper also, so I'm putting him aside. Pooh's not. So, and nor is little Simba. Not worth selling for me. All right, so I don't want to go through another box of plush, but I want to find another box. I have a lot to go through. This one says fragile mom's room seashells. I'm willing to bet it's not all seashells, but it might be. Anyway, let me grab this one too. All right, so some seashells actually can be quite valuable. I haven't found any worth selling yet. Um, in my almost three years of doing this full time, but I know to look out for them. It's all seashells. Uh, let's open it up. Alright, let's see what we got in here. One of those pigs. Yeah, some of these are cool. Oh, that's cool. It's a sea urchin, I think. Is it valuable? No idea. Is it fragile? Definitely. So this just looks like shells found at the beach. It's a conch shell, it's all beat up. So I might try to sell these sea urchins. They might be actually worth trying to sell. The rest of them, I've had lots of these kind of shells listed, like, and the no look. It's a starfish. going to be an auction box of shells. Big sand shells. So, so that's a pretty nice size one. That might actually be worth uh, reselling. Gosh, I forgot what the name of that one's called though. Another conch shell. This one's pretty, definitely found on the beach somewhere by the person I would imagine. I wouldn't buy that. Anyway, shells. Fun stuff. Not really. Alright. Probably the last box. I gotta start cleaning it up and get out of here. Let's see what do I want to look for. Oh, that's loud. I said I was gonna move that last time. Oh look. Stuffed animals. We got in there books. What's here? We got in this one. Like some dolls. Porcelain dolls. And what's that? Deck is up. It's a camel, porcelain, or ceramic, or something. Is that another one? Yeah, it's a pair of camels. Hmm. That's a box that's kind of heavy, so I'll have to get to that one eventually. But let me move this box of books and see what's in this one. Alright, so 
So we got cookbooks, looks like. It's a hot plate. And glass snowmen is what this one says. Baseball, football jersey pants, whatever they're called. Something goes on there. Unmarked. Christmas stuff, another cheap little teddy bear, figures, Attico, I think that's a good brand, but I don't remember. Easter Bunny. Alright, what do we got? That's three layers of paper wrapped. Snowman, just like it. Man, I was killing my back over there. So, swing set Christmas thing, dollar ninety nine. Another Easter Bunny thing. This is all auction house stuff for sure. Unless I find a good brand. This one I think is Attico. I don't remember though. It's probably the same Dollar Tree stuff. Um, or some so bigger Santas that were probably a foot tall for good money, but they're in the box too. So oh, yeah. Those are resin pieces, definitely cheap stuff. They got a pine. And then we got a really, dang, that's very low quality um, mug. It's very flimsy. So it might be very old. It might be Dollar Tree. It's just a chimney. Teddy bear, Easter, another Easter bunny. Right, let's see, let's see what we got. All right, so these are it. So we got a snowman, a Christmas tree, and an angel. So these are pretty heavy. They're, I'd say they're over a pound. They're supposed to light up, and they go on your mantle, hold a Christmas stocking. Actually gonna look those up later because they might be worth trying to resell on eBay. Then again, they might not. Never know. All right, guys, it's almost uh, five o'clock here. Um, I got a 35 minute, 40 minute drive, and I gotta clean this stuff up. So, and it's Sunday. I don't usually like work on the weekends, but I was going all week. Um, if you're liking this content, <sighs> if you're liking this content, um, if you're liking this content, please uh, hit that subscribe button and the like button and, you know, like and share. And I can't talk. Uh, this is the worst part of the video for me. I hate asking. Um, but please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Uh, it really helps the channel. And it motivates me to do more videos, quite honestly. Um, I still got quite a lot to go through for this locker. And it's taken a long time. It's already been, what, two, two and a half weeks since I bought it. And I'm about ready to lock up for the day. Tomorrow I got a lot of shipping to do, so I'm not sure if I'm even going to get anything to the auction house. Uh, I got all week to move things there, but we'll see. So um, that's about half trash, half auction stuff. And hopefully get this trailer emptied. All right, so I'm not really sure how much footage I have. Um, and minutes-wise, I try to keep these videos around 30, under 40 minutes. So this might not be the end of this video, and it might be the end of this video, but until then...